welcome to week seven of the Drifter Annex series of viral video challenges. First up, well, let me talk about last week's winners, which were... Okay, straight on to last week's winners. First of all, shout out to everyone that entered. We had Trax RC, T Commando, Roadside RC, Hardcore RC, Trek RC, Dave's RC Bashing, cheers Dave, uh, Peter Guttridge, Fog City RC, 3x7 Outdoor, which is epic video as ever, Clay's RC, SLD RC, Evan J. Dorflin, Cram Fam, and Phil RC. There were two categories, and the winner of the crawl category was SLD RC. So do get in touch with me, but only via the Drifter Menex Facebook page. Don't post your contact details in the comment section anywhere on here, as I value your privacy. In the non crawler category, a little bit of contentious decision maybe on here, but it goes to Fog City RC this week. Another one of you guys out there was very close, if not slightly faster, but you had to drive around the end marker and you had to measure out the 15 feet on there. And a couple of people had made comments on that to me on there. So slightly maybe contentious decision, but the rules are the rules. I do give people quite a bit of flexibility on the stuff, but the driving around the marker at the end was a pretty clear one last week. Many thanks to everyone that entered last week's challenge. There is a link to all of their videos in the description below this video. So what have we got this week? What goes on in this mind to think up this stuff? Well, let's take a look and see. Well, with last week's winners out of the way, what have we got for week seven of Driftman X and Viral Video Challenges? Well, this week we have got the aptly named Water Balance Challenge. So what are you gonna need for this? Well, besides needing a lot of patience, you're gonna need an RC car, and anything will do, from a crawler, through to a saloon car, through to a monster truck. As basically in this week's video, you can use any RC car you like. You're going to need some form of clear plastic beaker, as opposed to glass, uh, some water, probably quite a bit more than this for practicing with, a tape measure, or some way of measuring out 15 feet on the ground, three markers, they can be anything from old tires, to even old cars. And patience. Did I mention? You're going to need a lot of patience for this challenge. Now in this week's water balance challenge, you are free to mount the cup any way you want on top of your RC car. So it doesn't matter what the RC car is, but it's got to be either sitting on the front of the lid here, on the top, or on the back. What we don't want to see is them hanging right down at the front here, or right down off of the back here but you're welcome to mount it anywhere else you like on top of the body, like that on top of the crawler. Now you can also fasten it down by whatever means you want. Totally flexible on that bit of Velcro stuck onto the car, bit of double-sided tape on there, should hold it down within reason on there, but if you want to go mad with gaff tape, don't put gaff tape over the top of it for obvious reasons, but you are welcome to hold it down with anything you want. Now I'd be using clear plastic here, I would strongly recommend you do the same because if it comes off the car and it's glass, it's going to shatter, it's going to go everywhere and I recognise that quite a lot of you out there do these challenges uh, with your kids and the last thing I want is somebody going to the emergency room in the current situation that we are all under. Hope that makes sense, so use plastic please. Now when it comes to that plastic container, it can, within reason, be any size you like, but I want it to be a plastic beaker. I don't want it to be a plastic teaspoon, a child's medicine cup, something like that. It's gotta be something that somebody could pick up and hold in their hand, but within reason, it can be any size. I say that, I don't wanna say like, it's gonna be an eight ounce glass, 16 ounce glass, because not everybody is gonna have one. So how much water do I put in, Rich? Well, you are gonna put in not any kind of measured amount. What I want you to do is put in water to within two centimeters of the top of the container. Hope that makes sense because obviously, depending on the size of your beaker, it's gonna depend on how much water you're gonna put in. So it would be silly of me to say, put in like 200 ml of water, 300 ml of water. So I want two centimeters on the distance on there. That firmly stuck somewhere on your truck. And then, and then you're going to take your tape measure and your three objects and this challenge can be done inside or outside because, because you're going to measure out 15 feet on here and I would like to see people measuring the 15 feet on here. A lot of you guys have been doing that but it would be helpful if everybody did just for clarity. And then one marker of the 15 foot, one marker at seven and a half feet and one marker at the start. So what have we got to do? Well, when your marker's out on the ground, you can start the car on either the left or the right hand side, but the idea of it is this. Okay, so we're gonna start off here. We're gonna go around that first marker. We're gonna go to the left of the second one. 
we're going to round the end one like this when we come back round we're going to go round that next marker we're going to go round the one at the end that is lap one of two we're going to go back round the same way like this round the mark end marker again round the middle marker again and stop the clock that's the end of your second lap so this week's water balance challenge you're doing two laps of that course in the manner i've just shown you and i will show you with the truck in just a second just remember guys if you like what you see today don't forget to subscribe so as you may have gathered the objective of this week's water balance challenge is fill your beaker up with water affix it to wherever you want on your car two centimeter gap to the top of your beaker on there and you drive around that course that I've just shown you outside as fast as possible, like this. Okay, well, with the water in the car and quite a bit on the car where I've been practicing, what I want to see at the start of the video is the car dry and then a shot at the end with the car dry. You will need to be careful when you come to a stop over the line because the water will tend to go everywhere on the car anyway let's get to it i'm just going to go quickly on this but it's going to spill everywhere but uh, you just to give you the general idea of this um this crawler has got the turning circle of like a small pacific island on here i mean it's ridiculous look at that i'm gonna have to reverse now you want to avoid reversing i'm gonna crawl it if you've got the drag brake on if you stop at all the water will shoot out everywhere on it I'm gonna have to reverse again to get around this corner marker. So again, the water going everywhere, but you get the picture on there, people. Oh, it's literally, the turning circle on this thing. Ridiculous. Anyway, now we can get a move on again. Round it again, into the second lap, Rich. Okay, we're gonna have to, re oh, see water going everywhere there. Demonstration of how not to do it. Order a wrong vehicle to choose on it. Oh, he's gonna cheat and just drive straight over that marker because I need to get around and finish it and show you guys the end result. Hard oh, again. People will make it and stop the clock there, Richie. Okay, you get the picture, people. You can see mounting the cup on the car is going to be absolutely key, but I do want to see it mounted on the top of the car as opposed to on the front there <laughs> or the rear. But other than that, it is over to you to use your innovation to complete this week's water balance challenge. But there is just one thing. The winning time this week will be the person that drives around the fastest without spilling a drop of water from that beaker onto the car. Now I recognise that you're going to spill it in practice. Probably quite a lot of water is going to get spilt in practice so there'll be no point in me saying video up close along the course because you can have water from your previous attempts on there. So what you want is to see the car dry at the start of the video doing one continuous shot of your attempts on there and then a video at the end showing me the car at the front. A little bit of trust involved in that one people but I hope that makes sense. Anyway, to get the legal stuff out of the way before I talk about this week's prizes, this is solely a Drifting Main X competition, nothing to do with YouTube or any of its affiliates whatsoever. Prizes, as per last week, there will be two of them, one for the fastest crawler doing the course and one for the fastest car that is not a crawler. So, how to enter? Well, a couple of things I need you to do. One is there is a line of text in the description below this video that I need you to put in the title of your video. And there is another line of text in the description below that I need you to put in the first three lines of your video. The next thing I need you to do is put a link to your video in the comment section below this video. That is your entry. That is how I know that you have entered the competition. When lastly, when does the competition close? It closes at midnight on the 17th of May, Pacific Standard Time. As per last week, you are more than welcome to enter both of the challenges on there, but only one prize per person in interest of fairness and spreading the love out amongst people there. Speaking of prizes, the winner will have a choice of a 2S LiPo battery or a servo ship free to wherever they are in the world. Any questions, please ask away in the comments section below the video. And I would just say, if you like what you see today, share this challenge with your mates, get them doing it as well, because last week towards the end, it was getting very, very competitive indeed, and I expect this week to be no different. And the more people enter, the more fun it tends to be with all the banter and people pushing themselves to improve their times. Anyway, stay safe, people. Over to you. Well, thumbs up if you like this video, guys. Post any comments you might have in the comment section below the video and hit the circle below to subscribe. And if you do hit the circle, don't forget to hit the bell.